So Resolve 18 added a new surface tracker tool and it's a really great compositing effect. So I wanna use it with Fusion and I don't wanna to have to create any intermediate exports or have some image already pre-baked into the footage when I go to Fusion. Um, instead what I can do is use this UV texture. So if you've done 3D before, you might be familiar with this um, and this will be available to download. But basically this is a floating point EXR with two perfectly linear gradients. Uh, a green one for the y-axis and a red one for the x-axis. And this just tells you the coordinates, uh, the color of the pixel tells you its coordinates within the image. If that doesn't make sense, it doesn't really matter, but just that's how it works. Um, the important thing is that this is left perfectly linear. So depending on your color management settings, it might get transformed in some way. But if, it, if you see a perfectly straight line here for the red channel and then this consistent green box for the green channel, then it's correct. But if it's anything else, then you might need to do some re um, inverse transform to get it back to linear. Uh, the other thing is the scaling of it. So my project settings, I have it set to stretch. You probably wanna keep it square. Um, it's not a huge deal if it's stretched, but it just means the image in Fusion will get a little bit stretched. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it square. And then I'm gonna also just add a transform and scale it up so it fills the whole frame. And then this is the image that I wanna use as the surface tracker image. And so and you can see it's attached there. And I also just want the patch. I don't want the base footage. So I'm gonna switch the output to uh, warp onto blank um, just to get that patch. And then I also want the alpha channel because currently this is gonna output as you know black instead of transparent. So I'm gonna right click, add an alpha output and then pipe that into this. So it doesn't look any different here, but now it's actually using this for the alpha channel. Now I'm gonna jump back to the edit page. I'm gonna right click the clip and make a new fusion clip. Then I'm gonna right click again and open in timeline. And I'm gonna make two layers. The top layer is gonna be my warp. And then I wanna to go to the color page and go back to the bottom layer and just set this back to default. So now I've got the bottom layer, which is just the base footage. And then the top layer has that patch I just tracked. Now, if I go back to the timeline and then open this in the fusion page, you can see I can access both these layers separately. And I can use this as basically transform data for another image. So let me go ahead and just remove this merge. And so I've got the base footage here and I'll bring in an image that I want to warp onto it. And then there's a node for this um, called, it's just called texture, I believe. Yeah, it's just called texture. And so I want to plug in my coordinates into the first input and then the, the image to get transformed to those coordinates as the second input. And so now you can see if I look at this in the output, it's actually moving the whole image according to those um, color values. So basically this, this texture is just a way of storing position data into an image. So I could use this, of course I'm using it for the surface tracker, but I could use it for the power windows tracker. I could use it for a tracker in AE to send to Fusion. Just a universal way of storing that uh, tracking data. From here, I just merge it and then make some adjustments to the visit, uh, position and stuff. And that's kind of the point is I can do all the adjusting I need to to the sources without having to jump between pages or even worse, make uh, you know intermediate renders, which are just really annoying to work with. Um, and this works with pretty much any effect from the color page. So the new depth map pass or magic masks, which I do all the time. Um, obviously it'd be nice if it was in the fusion page itself, but it's not too bad to actually send that data to fusion.